and then yeah. these are my current rigs. Yeah. So they use this new tech. So this is two seconds ago for the camera down. So there, there is no. You are the. You don't work on the amps, but you're 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 responsible for the amps, correct? Yeah. So I run everything from my guitar world. Uh, everything. This is just wireless system. Uh, everything runs through this gizmo here called a uh -huh. JX42, which is basically a router for their guitars. So those guitars that are labeled one and two, one's on this one, two's on this one, and they flip flop basically. Yeah. So when it's green, the guitar's live. And that's why I was talking about with the volume rolled down. So before the next song, he'll be playing on number one. I'll have this song uh, queued up, like this guitar queued up, sorry. And what's really cool about this system is that if, it ha if the light's not on, everything reverts to this tuner. So I plug my bench in to the guitar and I can tune on this wireless on my bench. So I know I'm in tune, turn the volume down, hit live, and I give him the guitar. And then when I come back, I turn the other one off. So it makes workflow really nice. Um, and then this flips between my main and spare uh, quad cortex, which is this gizmo down here. I don't know how much you guys know about this stuff. Um, I don't know nothing about it. Cool. So this is a company that I actually uh, started working for in November. I am an official employee, uh, a company called Neural DSP. Uh, and they originated as a software, uh, an instrument software company, making guitar plugins for recording. Uh, and this is their hardware product called the Quad Cortex. Uh, and it's pretty impressive. Um, it's essentially an entire everything you want inside a little box. Um, and their pedals and amps, there's amp settings, cab, uh, EQs. So this is... Uh, this is the, it, the main source of your of your guitar. racket making. Yep, yep. So like, uh, so say for instance, that's a clean amp that just comes on. This is this top here is all like a dirty amp, and it all runs to do diff two different chains. So that's a clean amp. It's a uh, AC thirty, I think it is, or a, a model of an AC thirty. And then it'll flick that button. It turns its dirty sound on. That one turns an octave pedal on. This one turns all his modulation effects on. Um, and that's how we run the show, basically. And all of this changes from a computer over the other side of the stage. So on this song, for instance, he has four sounds. So lead, uh, chorus octave, heavy, and a clean. And then all these are dead patches, so they just mute everything if I click on them. There's no sound. Um, but it's a pretty impressive bit of kit. It's getting there. We, and we just put it all, that's all of his songs, basically, in a different bank. And that the, the computer picks a song out of that list every day during the show, and it has different settings. Are you, are you pretty... afraid this thing's going to replace you someday? Uh, no, it can't replace me. But uh, I mean, dude, my Josh, my guy, I love him to death, but he hates technology and he, can't, okay. he doesn't even know how he doesn't even know how to program it. So yeah. I do all this for him. All uh -huh. I get him to do, I put all these because all these blocks are like module, you can move them around. Oh man, uh, look at this! So I, I set up all of these right so if i know in burn down my house this is the selection of things he needs uh -huh. i put all these in uh and then i get him to come and make the sound how he wants it to be like the eq uh but in terms of signal flow and everything i do all that because he's uh he's not really interested in learning that so yeah that's what i mean about like their personal assistant so i do all that kind of stuff <laughs> um it's powered by this thing this is called a chooks uh dc7 uh and that's pretty cool everything is isolated so everything is separate hold, hold, on, hold on a second boots you know about any of this stuff well i'm actually in the process of building an identical rig after martin sent me the whole signal flow of everything where i'm building it exactly <laughs> the same is that right yeah so um so yeah so all it is is that's that's the main unit that you hear and that's the spare so is they're there identical is there any concern that all the bands are going to start sounding the same if they if they use the same gear? Is there enough no, vari variability? No, because in this that? Is, this is so detailed, uh, yeah. it's insane. So because this is just like th that that amp is a fifty one fifty. That's his favorite amp. Loads of people use fifty one fifty, but they don't all sound the same, you know. Yeah. Um, and then you get I don't think I've got any on this, but uh, you have things like this. Oh, loads. Oh no, of course. I need to find something weird. 
Oh, there you go. So this thing here is what they call a capture. So that's a capture of an actual pedal. So they've taken the sole of the pedal and put it in there. Uh, and you can do that with amps as well. So everyone can be really individual for what they want to do. Cool. Um, but yeah, these essentially are identical and a computer changes them uh, exactly at the same time every night. Both of those things go to this thing, which is basically outputting. This is, this is going to the speakers on stage and out the front. Uh, I can mute everything by this button, which I accidentally did last night at the end of the set with my knee. That was fun. Um, but the best thing is, is this basically goes between A and B. So it goes between these two units. So if this one fails, I hit this button and it reverts to this one directly. How much shit uh, do you catch if that's that, if, if all of a sudden the sound completely goes out? Do you do you hear about it afterwards or are they are they pretty mellow? Uh, it depends on the band. With with the with the architects lads, because I've been here so long. I can maybe afford a stupid mistake like that. Uh, it was definitely laughed about last night, but I was embarrassed. Um, uh, and it was completely my fault. I was cocking about dancing. And it uh -huh. was the last song and I was packing up and I packed up and then suddenly the bass player's looking at me and he's like, right, no sound. And I could just see this red light down there. And I was like, oh, I know exactly what I've just done. Turned him <laughs> off. Um, <laughs> yeah. Your mind goes to panic immediately, like, oh, oh my God, what's happened? And then it's like, oh, okay. 